Right, so right here, how do you change that size? With all that said, I'll give you a little stories here. See that? See that size right there? Five five fifty by four hundred. That's actually the size of my stage. I want to change that. What do you want to change that to? Hit the edit button here, and you can change the size right now. Let's change it to what eight hundred by six hundred, which is used to be the old size, right? We used to do eight hundred by six hundred. Uh, it used to be big. Everyone never thought we'd never, who'd need any bigger than that. Now screens are thousands of pixels. And what that did, they just expanded my pixel size. Now, right above here, I can actually fit all that into the screen. So if I come along here and click down here, I can actually fit that in. So I can do 25%. Oh, there it is. Tiny, I don't like that. Or I can make it a little bit bigger, uh, 50%. Or I can actually type in there. Ah, right, let's make it 75. See? Or I can go, hey, I, I'm, I want to fit, uh, I, wanna, I really re want it big. Why would I want something really big on the screen? You have an idea? Do it in detail. Right, so I can go in and do some details. So watch what I'm doing. I'm coming along here and rolling this line. I can actually push that line in. Isn't that cool? Come along here and grab these control points of these figures, move those around. All right, so a lot of people do that when they're drawing in Flash. And uh, yeah, and then they get it all right, and then they go back to a lower uh, resolution. Absolutely, you got it, you nailed it, nailed it. Okay. There's a lot of other things here I can actually uh, fit in a window, show a frame, show wall. Okay, so th and I want to see everything, so show wall. There you go. So that's how you do it in Flash, and that's how you change your screen size. Maybe I want to change the background color. Here's my stage right here. So I click on that, and I choose a color, and let's make it green. Ta da! Oh, that looked ugly, didn't it? <laughs> yeah. Got to learn a little bit about colors and color, uh, you know, make it matching colors up. Let's make it blue. Ah, uh, looks worse. So let's make it try one more time. Randomly gray. Uh, looks even worse, doesn't it? So don't trust me, I'm a programmer, okay? <laughs> Most of the experience I have in design actually came from uh, training uh, graphic designers. I want to just treat one more topic and then I'm going to let you guys take a break, okay? And that is this right here. You can actually change the way Flash looks, all right, by clicking on, hey, maybe I'm a designer. So I click on design view. And they typically have all the type of palettes a designer might use. Or uh, I don't like that. Maybe I'm a programmer, so I'm going to hit or animator. So I, typically these are the palettes an animator might use. Or hey, you know I'm not, I don't like that. Maybe I like to do uh, action scripting, but I don't say a scripting panel. But look, I actually created my own panel, script only. So you could actually come here and actually start closing panels, all right, and create your own panel layout. And so I close some close the panel, and hey, I like this layout. And I can actually close some of these things. I don't want that. Let's close that. And you, as you begin to close things, you can see I don't want that either. And this is what I commonly work with. And so you can actually work with things that you commonly work with and create your own panel. And once you've done that, you just go here, hit New Workspace. So it's all menu driven. You can see it. If you forget to do it like I did, and go My New Panel. Ta da! And now you have your new panel there. Hit OK. And this may be what you work in, and so whenever you want to go back to that, or if you want to go back to where you were in Classic, there you are, Classic, or go back to My New Panel, I just, I like that so much. And that is a little clue to help you keep your, keep you organized. But basically, I, I will only use one or two. I'm pretty happy and can move things around pretty rapidly, but you might really like that, so I'll go back to Classic View. So that is your introduction to Flash. What do you think so far? Pretty cool? Yeah. Yep. Yeah? So when you're done with something and you want to save it, it's pretty easy to save in Flash. You just go File, Save As, and just put it wherever you want to. Mm -hmm. You just got me, didn't you? <laughs> 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 or if you look at that, with each one of these, there is what? You can see the hint, hint right? Absolutely. So Save As is Control Shift S or Control S for, for Save. Very good. You get, an a, you get a gold star. Zach, very good. Okay, so I'm going to shut this down. We'll start a new one when we come back, and we'll start looking at Photoshop. So see you guys after break. Put your chair back a little bit for now.